Hello, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me here today at one of our Facebook live sessions. And today's session is a little bit different because this is for the younger ones of you out there. So my name's Jonathan and I work for the charity Cats Protection, as you can see. Oh, there's my logo. And if you haven't heard of Cats Protection before, we look after cats and we help cats to find brand new homes if they don't have a home of their own or if their owners can't look after them anymore. Now today we're going to be looking at some really interesting things. Now ordinarily my job would be to go to schools and to talk to young people like yourselves all about how to care for cats. Now with things the way they are we can't do that at the moment so we're bringing our content to you and we hope that today you'll learn something new about cats. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off in a moment by looking at my bag. I've got a lovely cat bag here full of some interesting things that we need to look after our cats. After that we're going to be making a fun cat craft and just here I've got what we'll be making. Uh, it's a very interesting thing, I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But for any of the parents out there, if you want to make this along with your children, uh, what you're going to need are some toilet rolls, good old toilet rolls. If you don't have toilet rolls, not a problem. Uh, you can also use things like these. Uh, these are just plastic yogurt pots. These had custard in them. Uh, or also, um, we can also use uh, <coughs> egg boxes. An egg box is a really useful thing if you've got one of those around and also maybe some pieces of newspaper. You're also going to need some sticky tape as well. Oh, and also, I shouldn't forget, some cat treats too. So we've got some cat treats. Now when we finished our craft, we're going to have a Q&A session. So I'm going to let you ask me some questions and hopefully Either me or my friends at Cats Protection will give you an answer in the comments or I will answer them here for you. Now one last thing before we start is we very recently released something called our Moggy Modules. Now these are some really fun home education packs that you can download and do at home. So head over to our website, I've got the address here. It's cats.org.uk forward slash education. And you will probably find a link to that in the description afterwards or in the comments. But that's our website where you can download the Moggy modules and learn lots more about cats after our session today as well. Now, I appreciate you're not there right in front of me able to interact, but I'd love for you to interact through the comments section if you can. And what we'll do as we go through is we're going to be asking for some thumbs up or maybe some thumbs down. So make sure you're ready with those in the comments and please do share some pictures of your cats as well. So pop those in the comments, we'd love to see pictures of your cats at home. So hopefully that's given you everything you need before we get started. Adults, go gather those things we need for the craft afterwards. But right now, let's take a look in the bag. So this is full of things that we need to look after our cats. Now things are a little bit different at the moment, aren't they? We're not going out quite so much and our cats might be a little bit uncertain because everything's changing. Now the first thing I want to show you is this. Very, very odd thing indeed. What do you think this might be? Made of cardboard scratchy there. It's a scratching board for cats and that's really important for their claws so that cats can keep their claws in really really good condition, really great condition. And it's not just to keep their claws short and sharp, it actually helps them to get rid of the old dead bits of claw, a bit like shedding their skin like a snake does. And then their claws underneath are nice and ready to use when they need them. So a scratching post is essential. We really need one of these. And our cats might want to scratch it like this, or they might prefer to scratch it like this. 
But having one of these, whether it's like this or it's a really big tower with a rope around it, is really great for our cat. So do we think thumbs up for the scratching post or thumbs down? Get those thumbs ready. Pop them in the comments for me. Okay, another thing. Uh, let's see, this one. Now you might have seen something like this before, you might not. Now, it's not food. <laughs> I do get that one a lot. It's not food. This is a cat's litter tray. Put it a bit closer for you there. It's a litter tray. Now a litter tray is a cat's toilet. It's where they go to the toilet. We all need somewhere to go. Now if our cat doesn't go outside, it's really, really important that we give them something inside that they can use. And much like us, cats don't like going to the toilet where people can watch them. So it's really important to put this somewhere nice and quiet as well and to keep it clean. So a litter tray. Now even now, if our cats maybe are feeling a little unsettled because everything's a bit different, a litter tray might help them out. And particularly when the weather's bad outside and you might not want to go to the toilet in the rain, a litter tray is a really good time, a really good thing to have then as well. So, that's a couple of things. Thumbs up or thumbs down for our litter tray. That's a tricky one. Let's see. What about... Oh, this one. <laughs> this is a cat blanket. Oh, that side. <laughs> And this is really, really important too. What do you think our cat might want to do on this? It's nice and soft. Maybe somewhere to go to sleep. <laughs> now cats have some really interesting places that they love to go to sleep. They absolutely adore some of these places. Here we go. You'll like this one. We've got a cat on a shelf. How about that? I love this cat. And he's got a beautiful spot here by the window. And cats love to get as high up as they can because it makes them feel nice and safe. If I had a cat in here, I bet they'd love to be up here on some of these shelves. <laughs> so nice and high up, that's one place you can put a cat bed. Or, and you might have seen a cat sleeping in a place like this before. In a box. There we go. We've got a cat in a box and someone has cut a lovely heart shape here for them. That's very nice. It looks really warm and cozy. <laughs> now cats love to hide as well. Hiding's a really, really lovely thing for cats. And they do it not because they're scared necessarily, although they will hide when they're scared, but it just makes them feel nice and cozy and safe. So if you get your cat bed and pop a few of them around the house, Maybe some up high, maybe some hidden in a box or underneath a chair or something like that. So we're storming through this, aren't we? We've seen lots of things already. Thumbs up or thumbs down for our cat's litter tray. Litter tray. We've done litter tray for the cat's bed. The cat's bed. What else have we got? We've got one of these and one of these. <laughs> so these are cat bowls. Now I think this would be a mighty fine bowl to put our cat's food in. In fact I have some here. You so, that in there we've got some little cat biscuits in there. Now a really interesting thing about cats is they have to eat meat. So they can't be vegetarian or vegan. They have to have meat. And if they don't have meat in their diet, they can become quite sick. So it's really important. So when we feed our cats, we have to make sure we feed them the right food. And also the right amount. Now, maybe our cats might get very fat if they're not doing a lot of exercise. So it's a little bit harder for us to exercise at the moment, isn't it? If we can't go out so much. So we have to make sure we watch what we eat in case we get very fat as well. So that's very important for our cats. What about this one then? This one, something for cats to drink from maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Now what can we give our cats to drink? 
and you see this. This is cow's milk. Now, for a very long time, we used to believe that cow's milk or any type of milk was really good for cats. But actually, now we know it's bad. It's bad for cats and it can make some cats sick. So milk is not a great thing to give our cats after all. What could we give our cats instead? Nice, fresh water. Water is the best thing for cats. It's nice and healthy and the fresher, the better. Now, the lovely thing about this bowl is it's very wide and that's great for cats because cats have whiskers on the side of their face. And if they have a very narrow bowl, it gets in the way of their whiskers. So they love to have a nice wide bowl like this for water, wide and shallow, just like that. So our food and our water bowls, thumbs up or thumbs down, maybe. Hmm. I think I've got one last thing in here for you. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is one of my favourites. Oh, you can just about see it. We call this a fishing rod toy. <laughs> you can probably see why. Looks like I'm fishing. <laughs> a fishing rod toy. Now, this is great for our cats, and if we wiggle it around like this, it might look like a type of rodent that they like to chase. <laughs> Now imagine if you had no toys at all at home, or someone took all of your toys away one day. That'd be awful, wouldn't it? You might feel really sad. Or you might feel quite bored as well. Nothing to do. And our cats can be bored too. And this is a really fun way to play with our cats, particularly when we're at home a lot more with them. We can use one of these. These are great fun. <laughs> the best thing about these is you can have your hands at one end and your cat with their teeth and their claws is at the other. So it keeps you nice and safe as well. So I'm seeing lots of thumbs up going on. <laughs> You're right. This is a really good thing for cats to help keep them entertained. Now, you can learn more about all of these things and others in our Moggy modules. Don't forget about those. And you remember the website that I gave right at the beginning. You can go to cats.org.uk forward slash education. Now, that fishing rod toy has given me a really good idea. Why don't we make one of these? <laughs> now, this is called feeding enrichment. Now, that's a really big word that basically means it's something fun for our cats to do to get their food instead of eating out of a boring old bowl. So these are really, really easy to make. You don't have to pay lots of money and buy an expensive one in the shop. Although you can buy all kinds of various ones. This one is very simply made out of some cardboard tubes, some toilet roll tubes, uh, some sticky tape and uh, a piece of card on the bottom. So we're going to make this now. So I'm going to make it along with you. And we're going to start, first of all, with a piece of strong card. And this is going to act as our base. So we'll put that there. And then we're going to need to get some toilet rolls. Now I've been collecting these for a while. You might not have toilet rolls uh, around, but you might be able to start saving up for them if you want to make something like this. Uh, or you can also use things like these. We've got some uh, plastic pots here. These had uh, little puddings or custard in them or yogurt, all sorts of different things there. So part of the joy of this craft is uh, being creative. So anything you can find that you think might give your cats a challenge um, is something that you can try and use. So let's start off with one of our toilet rolls, first of all. So I'm going to get a bit of sticky tape and I'm going to place it inside the tube so that it sticks out halfway. I think you can just about see that there. I'll get to my hand. So there's a little bit of sticky tape and we're going to place this down on our base. There we go. 
So you'll see that it's now stuck to our base just like that. And we're going to get another bit of sticky tape and put it on the other end exactly the same way as before. There we go. So it's now fully secured to our base. Excellent. Now I'm doing this and talking at the same time, which is not easy. So you might find that you can do a much neater job. So we're going to then lay another tube next to the first tube and do exactly the same. There we go. So that's two side by side and another one. Now, the really important thing about this is to make sure that you use items that don't have lots of prints on them. So nice plain card because the print, if the cats lick it or chew it, sometimes the ink can be quite harmful to cats. So what we're using here is a nice plain card with some plain toilet rolls. Uh, if you don't have toilet rolls, you could use some more plain card, roll it up and you could have the same effect. Go, let's get another one. So we're going to put this one on top of our three. So we're starting to make a little pyramid shape. Now another bit of tape goes inside the toilet roll like that. But this bit, we are going to put inside the next tube down, just like that. So we'll push that around like that. And what that's done is that's secured that to the front there. And we just need to put a bit on the back as well. Now we're using sticky tape for this because it's safe for cats as long as we stick it down nice and tightly and they can't get it off and chew it. You could use glue, uh, but be careful with glue because not all of them are safe for cats. You'll want some nice non-toxic glue. Um, probably if it's safe for children, it might be safe for cats as well. Although it's always best to read the label carefully and really check. But we're using sticky tape here because we're sticking it down nice and tightly and we're making sure that our cats won't get this off. Now when we put some treats in this our cats will be far more interested hopefully in the food instead. So there we are we've put another two on top and we've wrapped the cellar tape around each tube and that's made that nice and sturdy I can hold that I can shake it and it's not going to go anywhere. Now to finish my one off I'm going to pop one on the top. Now for this one, I've only used six toilet rolls just because I could be here all day making this if I used more. But the great thing with this is you can keep adding more. If I grab some more toilet rolls, we could easily extend this this way and keep going up. And if you wanted, you could make the biggest cat enrichment feeder that you've ever seen. Now do get creative, uh, use all kinds of things you can find around the house, particularly if they're, they're long and the cat can maybe get their paw into them and maybe it might make it a bit tricky to get the food out. These pots are great because they're just a bit too small for their head so they might just have to use their paw to get them out. Now we'd love to see your creations, please do share them on social media with us, pop them on the Cats Protection Facebook page. Show us your pictures of what you've made for your cats. Now I'll show you how this one works. We've got some treats here, got some treats, nice dry treats. There we go, see those there. Now we could use meat, uh, but the problem we might face is we'll smear it inside these little tubes and the cat will have a terrible time getting it out and it will make them all dirty and we'll probably have to throw this away. So what we use instead is some nice dry treats and we can put these just inside the tube like this, just in the entrance. Now what we want to do is make sure that this isn't too difficult for our cats because if your parents gave you some food in a locked box and you had to try and find out how to get inside, if it was too difficult you might give up even if you were really hungry. And what we don't want is for our cats to miss out on food just because they can't solve this puzzle. So start out nice and simple right at the entrance here. And then if your cat gets the hang of it really quickly, you can push those treats further in. 
And then they have to use their paw to get it out and use their brains a little bit more. So start out nice and slow with that one. And we'd love to see pictures once again of your cats using these as well. Now I've got another one here. This one is an egg box. And what I've done with this egg box is I have placed in each of these little egg cells a little treat. There's one in there, one in each. But on some of them, I've put a bit of scrunched up newspaper. And what the cat has to do here is try and get the newspaper out. It's an extra layer. It's a bit more difficult. And also the cat can't see the treat. So that means that they really have to use their brain to work out if it's there. Now you can easily make this with an egg box, some strips of newspaper that you just scrunch up into a ball, just like that. So it's very easy, very fun to make. And then you can, again, start nice and slowly, pop the treat in each one and let your cat see them, let them get the treat out easily. And then, up the difficulty of it by putting one or two of these scrunched up newspaper bits in and as they get the hang of that you can put more and more in maybe you can make it even harder by putting the paper in but not a treat in some of them so your cat has to work out which one has the treats in <laughs> but always make sure you definitely do put treats in because it can be very upsetting for a cat to do all that work and not get any reward at the end of it so there's another idea for you there as well. So enrichment feeding for cats is really important, not just during these times where everything's a little bit different, but all the time, because it's one way that we can make our cats' lives just a little bit more interesting. So playing with our cats, giving them some feeding enrichment, all of these things are really important. So give it a try at home and let us know how you get on. Now this is the section where I would like to invite you to ask me some questions. So pop them down in the comments box and I will see if I can get around to them. But don't worry if we don't, because someone from Cats Protection will come along and answer your questions in the comments uh, once the live video has ended. But I've got some videos here that we, some videos, I've got some questions here that are most commonly asked and I'm just going to read some of them out for you. So one of the questions we get asked quite a lot is why do cats hunt? This is fascinating isn't it? Now in the wild we know that cats hunt to survive. They use their sharp teeth and their claws to catch small rodents like mice and rats. They do that because that's their only way of surviving, that's how they eat. But our cats at home are pet cats. Well, they don't have to hunt, do they? Because we give them food. We give them a bowl full of food. There we go. And why do they have to hunt? Well, that's because hunting is not linked to hunger. And our cats at home will still hunt even when they're not hungry because it's a really great exercise for their mind and their bodies. So one way that we can really, really help them out is by using a fishing rod toy, just like we looked at before, because this is just like chasing a small animal, especially if we move it just right. <laughs> so it's really important to try playing with our cats so that they can practice those essential behaviors. And that's whether they're an indoor cat or a cat that goes out all the time, because it also helps us to build up a bond with our cats and make really great friends with them. The other way is what we've literally just discussed, our cat enrichment feeder, because it's also another way of cats having to work for their food. Now, the important thing with the enrichment feeder is not to give your cats lots and lots more food because when they're not as active, they will be able to put on weight <laughs> quite a lot easier, a bit like us. So we're not going out as much at the moment and we might find it much, much easier to put weight on. So when you're using a puzzle feeder with your cat, make sure you take the food you're using with this out of their bowl, out of their daily allowance. 
So you're not giving them extra so that they can use this. That's really important too. So that was a great question. Let's find out what the next one is. Why does my cat drink from the tap or the toilet or the sink? <laughs> That's some interesting questions there. Why do they do that? Well, cats tend to prefer fresh running water because when water is moving, like from the tap or from a stream or a river, it's generally much cleaner than if it's just sitting still in a pond or a pool of some sort where it can get quite dirty. Now in the wild, cats would not want to drink from a dirty water source because they might get sick. And in the wild, they don't have vets to look after them like our cats do. But our cats don't really know the difference. They use the same instincts that they have when they're wild as when they're in the home. So running water like the sort you might get from the tap or uh, from the toilet even, can be much fresher. Now you might say, Jonathan, the water in my toilet is not clean at all. And you're probably right. But if you think about how many times you flush your toilet in the day, how many times that water changes, and how many times might you change your cat's water? Most owners probably only once a day. So have a think about that. Your toilet water might be cleaner to a cat than their own bowl of water. <laughs> but another thing you can do is move your cat's water bowl further away from their food bowl. And we have a real uh, tendency. We really like to put food and water bowls right together. But cats do not like that. Not at all. They like their water and their foods very separate. So we can just move their bowls apart. And that might encourage our cats to drink more from their water bowl. How about that? <laughs> and one final question. Why do cats hate dogs? <laughs> this is a really interesting question, this one, because cats don't hate dogs. But film and television have taught us that cats and dogs have got this ancient rivalry and they really hate each other. But I've actually seen cats and dogs get on really well and be the best of friends. Now, the really important thing is to know your cat. Does your cat want to have another pet living in the house? Maybe if they're very shy, they might not. But if they're really confident, they might. But the really important thing is that you take it very slowly when you introduce a cat to another, another pet, whether it's a dog or another cat. Take it slowly because first impressions are really important. Have a think about the first time you met someone new at school. Maybe when you first met them, you felt very differently about now when you know them very well. And that can be the same with our animals. But there will always be some pets who really just don't want to live with another pet, which is a shame. But we have to be aware that that can happen. Imagine if you've got brothers and sisters, just imagine if you can never get away from them. You're stuck with them day in, day out. That could be a little bit scary. And you might want to get some space away from them or hide. So our cats can be very similar. Remember when we talked about cats getting up high or hiding? Making sure they've got loads of places to get away can be really important too. So, now we are not able to look at any questions uh, from the comments at the moment, um, but Thank you very much for all of the suggestions that you've put in. If you did put any questions into uh, the live comments box, then someone will come along and give you an answer later on. But I hope that you've learned something new from this session today. Uh, remember that you can go on our website one last time. It's cats.org.uk forward slash education, where you can find lots of videos, games, quizzes and makes and bakes as well so there's loads of things on there to do to learn more about cats and if you're interested in working with cats in the future you'll also find a great quiz about what your perfect job might be and some videos about some people in cats protection doing those jobs as well they're really great check those out also check out our moggy modules which you will also find on that website downloadable home education packs where you can learn more 
about cats. So give them a go because we have another Facebook live session coming in uh, two or three weeks. So keep an eye out for that. If you've liked our cats protection page on Facebook, then you will get a notification at the time uh, and sometime before as well. And we will be asking you some questions that are included in the Moggy modules. So if you want to get a head start on our next session, have a look at the Moggy modules on our website. Have a go at some of them. There's five packs in total. And that will put you in a really good place next time when we come back to look at some more things about cats. So thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I've really enjoyed it and I hope you have too. So stay safe and keep playing with your cats. And if you've got any more questions about cats protection, about cats, go on our website. We've got loads and loads of stuff on there. So I have been Jonathan and I will see you next time.